on this fourth day of our preparation for total consecration to Jesus through Mary. We are called to meditate upon this passage from the book known as The Imitation of Christ, Book 3, Chapter 7. Lord, what is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you visit him? What has man deserved that you should give him grace? Lord, what cause have I to complain if you forsake me? Or what can I justly allege if what I petition you shall not grant? This most assuredly I may truly think and say, Lord, I am nothing. I can do nothing of myself that is good. But I am in all things defective and ever tend to nothing. And unless I am assisted and interiorly instructed by you, I become wholly lukewarm and relaxed. But thou, O Lord, art always the same, and endure unto eternity, ever good, just, and holy, doing all things well, justly, and holily, and disposing them in wisdom. But I, who am more inclined to go back than to go forward, continued not always in one state, for I am changed seven different times. But it quickly becomes better when it pleases you, and you stretch out your helping hand, for you alone, without man's aid, can assist me, and so strengthen me, so that my countenance shall be more diversely changed, and my heart be converted and find its rest in thee alone. He who would be too secure in time of peace will often be found too much dejected in time of war. If you could always continue to be humble and little in your own eyes and keep your spirit in due order and subjection, you would not fall so easily into danger and offense. It is good counsel that when you have conceived the spirit of fervor, you should meditate how it will be when the light shall be withdrawn. And so we pray together the Veni Creator. Come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, O both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. And now we pray the Ave Maris Stella. Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing of his name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness poor, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, 
make our way secure till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven, to the almighty three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. And now we pray together the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation, to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seal, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.